Hey, Happy New Year. It's Katrina Sawa here, and I am having a slow ease into the new year over here at the Sawa household. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if it just went live or not. Um, happy New Year. Anyways, uh, I am having a very slow ease into the new year. I'm uh, barely alive today, uh, Tuesday the 4th, after a, a very fun yet exhausting <laughs> eight-day vacation in Orlando, Florida with my husband and my stepdaughter, Riley. We went to five days of five parks in five days, and I can't even talk. Like, <laughs> I'm so exhausted still. Uh, my knees don't work. My feet, I wish I could just replace them and put some replacement feet on right now. Um, so, yeah, we are, I need a vacation for my vacation. Hopefully, you're not in the same boat, and you are already off to a banging start for the new year. Um, but I'm going to ease my way in <laughs> and uh, might even need to go take a, a massage later today. <laughs> I think. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm excited though because 2022 I know is going to be so much better than the last couple of years that we've had. And I know some of you have had a hard time. Some of you have been doing really great. I know for me it was still pretty great for uh, during COVID. Um, and it's not over yet it seems. So we have to just do our best and, um, you know, make that new life for ourselves. Design the business and the life around what you want, right? So I'm here to encourage you to set goals that are maybe a little bit bigger and, and farther out and a little bit stretchier than you might normally set them. I think don't undervalue yourself. Um, please make sure your rates are up to par, that you feel valued, that you are not too inexpensive in the marketplace um, and you know we got to take care of our health so this is that month where everybody sets those uh, healthy resolutions right although I've been talking to a lot of people lately and they're getting rid of resolutions they're setting intentions or of course we have the word for the year right which I don't know last year at this time I knew what my word was but I don't know what it is yet yeah, so I'd love to hear what your word is, if you know what that is. I'd love to hear a few of your big, hairy goals, right? The really big goals that you might have set for yourself. Um, I'm looking forward to being in and publishing, um, I don't know, a half a dozen or a dozen books this year. So if anybody's looking to get published or write a book or be a part of a compilation book, I have a few friends and clients that are looking for authors right now as well as myself. Um, so that's fun. It's always good to be an author uh, when you're a business owner and multiple book author, right? And uh, let's see, what else am I looking forward to? I'm looking forward to my husband just started a brand new job this week. So he is starting the year off uh, with an amazing new job that he's excited about. And uh, so that's gonna be super fun. And my stepdaughter Riley is actually turning 13 this year and she's in the other room and she's probably embarrassed that I'm talking about her right now. <laughs> but um, I'm uh, proud of her because she's a junior black belt and in February when she, February or March, she turns to a regular black belt this year because she's gonna be 13. So that's exciting. And she's super smart. And, um, and our, oh my gosh, I missed my dog. I don't know how many of you have dogs out there, but oh, it was hard to be without my dog for eight years, or eight, eight years, eight days even. And uh, we saw like, I don't know, probably like 15 dogs in the airport yesterday. It was crazy um, how many dogs were like, oh my God, I have to get home to Willow. And uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm easing in. We slept in today because we got home literally at 1.30 in the morning <laughs> this morning from a 24 hour travel day. It was a nightmare. So, but it's okay. I wanna erase the nightmare day <laughs> and remember the fun that we had at Universal and Disney World and um, yeah. So gotta make those memories. And it's funny though, I didn't take a lot of pictures. I um, we didn't take a lot of pictures. We just had fun. And I think we were kind of exhausted too. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I'd love to hear what some of your goals are this year. I know that I'm kind of doing the, this, I'm, I don't want to be the same in income by any means, 
but I'm going to keep it consistent this year. I want to do book publishing and mentoring and helping people write books. I want to help people build their businesses, whether you're just starting a business or you want to scale to the next level and you need to know what to do, how to do it and all that kind of stuff and how to change what you're doing, maybe set uh, better boundaries for yourself so you can have a life, uh, maybe uh, help you increase your confidence so you can increase your courage to raise your prices and develop high-end programs so you don't ultimately have to work so hard. Um, and then I want to encourage you to do the right things in your marketing. Some people I saw in the last couple of years, you're just working way too hard. And I did a video recently on picking a lane and, and in my emails, if you're watching my email newsletters, <clears throat> picking a lane is like spending about 80% of your time that you would normally spend in your marketing of your business, 80% of that time in your favorite marketing activities and 20% in the stuff that eh, maybe you don't like so much, but you know you need to kind of be there to be visible and, and have exposure. So, because what I've seen is people are trying to do 100% in everything. And it's just, it's humanly impossible. I mean, like you can't work 24 seven, 365. You gotta set the boundaries of the hours you're gonna work and stay true to that, really. And then really just be focused uh, and very, very um, careful with your time and how you're spending your time. So the picking a lane is like, Social media is a lane, uh, and everything else is basically a lane. <laughs> so speaking, networking, doing this kind of stuff. Now this kind of stuff where I'm on Facebook, but I'm also gonna put it on my YouTube and show to my email newsletter, it's very universal. So it kind of falls under both lanes as doing videos and things like that. Because we know if you're really maximizing your social media, you need to be doing videos and lives and things like that. And joint venture lives, actually. That's, I'll tell you, the biggest um, marketing strategy that's free to you to do is to invite people onto Facebook Lives or LinkedIn Lives or YouTube Lives or Insta Stories and invite them in and do a, a, a joint live call where you're both, like you pick a topic that you can both talk to, right? Like if I had another publisher on or something, or a, uh, I don't know, someone who taught social media um, would go hand in hand with my business coaching, right? So we could talk on social media and she could give her tips and I could give my tips and then we could both share it with our audiences. You get more visible that way, you get in front of new people, other people's audiences. That strategy, you guys, is probably the single most important thing that you could do. And I tell this to my clients, but they don't all do it. Ah! Like, you should do it. You should probably do it at least twice a month, if not more than that. As many as you can possibly do, because you're getting in front of new audiences and groups of people who may have never heard of you or know you at all. So that joint audience is, or that joint live or that joint Zoom call that you're going to record and then put everywhere is a really great strategy to add to your the mix this year. Um, and if you don't like doing your doing video or looking at yourself on video, that's okay. Uh, you just have to get over that. <laughs> you need to get go over that because this is how people get to know, like, and trust you faster. If they can hear you and feel you, right? I can give you a virtual hug on Zoom or video. Um, I can you can hear my my passion, right, and my conviction and and things that I don't. Uh, just you know you can hear my energy you can you can kind of feel my energy through the video so I highly recommend that you do that strategy um, but picking a lane I'll have I'd have to send you to the other video it's on my YouTube if you want to check it out just search for Katrina Sawa um, but uh, so I've picked a lane I do more speaking and networking on zoom or in person or I go to conferences and events and things like that that's the lane I choose for 80% of my time and 20% of the time I spend on social media. So I don't do a lot of those long posts and things like that that, you know, get the 156 comments. I just, it's not the lane that I love. I don't love talking to the abyss <laughs> um, when there's nobody out there to respond back. Like, who knows if anybody's on live right now? I have no idea, you know, so... Uh, you know, I, it's just not my favorite, but I did it today because actually 
my <laughs> one o'clock call canceled. And I'm like, hmm, okay, I'm already got, you know, a little bit of makeup on, not all the makeup on. I got a little bit of makeup on. Maybe I'll just go live and say Happy New Year to everybody. And I hope you are really planning your year out for and having a successful, you know, uh, for having the most successful year ever in your business. And and designing it around the kind of life you want to live, not fitting your life in around your business, because you will burn out. Or think, you know, the things you want to look at too is <clears throat> the what ifs. I talk about the what ifs a lot at my events, and what if something happened to someone you love, and you have to take care of them, or, or what if it's you, and someone has to take care of you, and you can't work in the business as much as you need to. You have to set up the business for success now. You can't wait until the what if and then figure out how to manage the systems and the technology and the, the automated marketing or hire someone to help you at that point because then you're already in crazy mode, right? Or you're already in overwhelm at that time. You got to do it now. So I would ask the kind of stuff that I love to do with people because I know it's going to serve you forever. It's going to serve you forever in your business if you set the business and the systems and the technology all up in the, you know, ahead in the first place. So take the time to do that. Take the time to really figure out what to do and put the time in to do the work to get it done. There's no magic pill in being successful. There's no magic pill in reaching six figures or multiple six figures or seven. You have to just do the work. And if you think there's a magic pill or that this magic, you know, uh, thing that's coming up for you, or someone wants, you know, opportunity right here to get into business is going to all of a sudden just get you all this money. I, I just, it's not likely. It's not likely. So you want to be realistic, yet you want to have some stretch goals, and you want to have people help you along the way. Ask for help. I ask for help when I need it. Um, uh, you know, you just have to reach out. Okay, I don't know about this technology. I'm not going to spend 14 weeks trying to figure it out. I'm going to just go have someone help me and implement the things like a new website or like some funnels or some backend uh, database systems. Um, you know, there's lots of different things you can do to work less and make more. And so those are some of the things that I love to help people get started on. If you'd like to have a call, let me know. Um, you can go to askcat.biz, A-S-K-K-A-T dot B-I-Z, and set up a call. You got nothing to lose and a lot of great info that might come in that call to gain. So I hope uh, this is my wish for you to have an amazing 2022. Um, if you need help with your big picture planning, I actually was offering a special on my two-part webinar training for 27 bucks. Um, and everybody that goes through it loves it and says it's the best thing for planning your year. And it doesn't matter what year, it doesn't matter what time of the year you watch this or you get that. <clears throat> it helps you put the most important things first into your calendar and into your goals and to think of your goals differently and about your programs and making money um, and how to really leverage. And so it talks about a lot of different things. And it's a very practical way to plan your year. So I'll put the link for that in the comments below here. If you're watching this on YouTube or my email, then you'll have to check emails um, either the last week of the year or the first, first week of January. And uh, uh, But comment below. Let me know what your big goals are. Um, reach out to me if you want to chat or just send me an email. I would love to hear what you're up to and if or how I can help you. Have a great new year.